People often say that kids seem to be growing up faster all the time. Well, they are. A research team at the University of Missouri recently proved that both boys and girls are actually growing earlier, reaching their full height sooner than kids did just two generations ago. Scientists know kids are reaching puberty earlier, and now there's proof their bones are maturing faster too. A research team from the University of Missouri in Columbia studied the growth patterns in the hands and wrists of more than 1,000 children, paying special attention to the timing of a growth process called fusion. A long bone grows. Um, it grows at either end um, at a growth plate. And there is the main part of the bone, and then there's also um, a little epiphysis. When the epiphysis starts be to become part of that bone with the obliteration of the growth plate, then that is the process of fusion. Dana Duran, a researcher with the MU School of Medicine, says when fusion is complete, so is the growth of that bone. These are the bones that some of the bones that we're looking at. Right? Her research team looked at the bones of children dating back to the 1920s and found fusion is happening faster than it used to. Those bones stopped growing six to ten months earlier in more recent children. That's important for doctors treating kids with scoliosis, leg length differences, and growth hormone deficiency. Clinicians working to treat those disorders, it's critical to know how developed a child is. Now you may need to look at those kids at even earlier ages. And then on the next Duran says this doesn't mean kids today are shorter. It simply sets a new normal for how fast children grow and when they can expect to reach their full height.